You must not hang around dangerous places. The map had developed an unusual independence. Lily thought it was behaving very badly. <coughs> Lily arrived just in time to see the flying topography tool disappear through a grilled window. <coughs> That must be the police car. The bar suggested that this was a lion cage. The path that Garrett had taken led Lily to a small bridge over one of the brackish creeks running off from Moore Lake. Two trustworthy looking men in white lab coats were working there. Lily wasn't quite sure what to make of them. She also recognized Garrett in the bushes on the other shoreline. Apparently, he didn't want to be seen by the two men. And although the two nocturnal workers had made a friendly impression on Lily, she decided to follow the youth investigator's lead. And, have you found anything yet? Do you have to keep asking that? I'll let you know if I discover something. Yeah, I guess you're right. I think Dr. Marcel's madness is starting to rub off on me. And ever since we found this stuffed rabbit by the lake, he's been obsessed. We should be taking care of patients instead of poking around the moor. And then there's that absurd plan with the hypnosis now. Stop already, and keep looking. Have you actually found anything yet? Well... Lily had heard enough. Apparently, the men in white were Dr. Marcel's minions. It appeared that Edna's concern had been justified. Dr. Marcel really was looking for her. It was now more important than ever to find Edna's hiding place. There was a sign on the feeding trough. Don't feed the saber-toothed boars. Saber-toothed boars are very dangerous. In the event of an encounter, make sure you don't look like a well-behaved convent schoolgirl. Saber-toothed boars are nocturnal, grow up to six feet long, and like to lurk in the shadows. They can be frequently found near the territorial herb Artemisia, since they mark their territory on the leaves of this plant. Therefore, avoid areas where this herb grows after dark. The Forest Ranger. Lily would have gladly heeded the warning, but she had no idea how to recognize Artemisia. Lily didn't want the attendants to notice her. Uh? Did you hear something? I, I don't know. Hopefully not another saber-toothed boar. I'm still out of breath. What? I... wait. No! This isn't Aunt Gorgula. My name is Miranya. Miranya the Medium. How many more times do I have to tell you? What? But that's... One moment. Please stay on the line. Sorry, little girl. This could take a moment. It's that bartender Max Mixo again. A real pain in the ass. So dead and yet so talkative. Come to think of it. The spirits are very unsettled today. They're all talking over each other. If only I had earplugs. What was that? Now listen to me, my dear lady. I'm not a greeting cards courier. I'm sure that... Max Mixo, would you please shut up for a moment? Because there are others who... Who? 
No, I don't know anyone called Priscilla. Maranya was busy. Lily could completely understand that. She knew how hard it was to ignore spirits. Especially those that tried to grab you at night. To use the machine, you needed small change and a comfortable relationship with Salmonella. Oh, what do we have here? A little girl without parents, all alone in the night. How sweet. What brings you into this dark dive where no one can hear you scream? Alcohol. I can't serve children alcohol. I'm missing the recipe for the only alcoholic cocktail on the menu. The Volcano Berserker. Plus, I ran out of the ingredients. So, if you want a drink, you'll have to get me the right ingredients. And then, the drinks will be free. Here, the menu. If you want to order anything, just point it out to me on the menu. A Volcano Berserker? Hmm. Sorry about that, sweetie. Unfortunately, I don't have the recipe. The previous owner took it to the grave. Or wherever. But they haven't found him yet, and they won't. Not where they're looking. Lily had also received a box like this after her father had been lost at sea. It probably took the Association for the Relief of Dead Seafarers a long time to collect this. Could this be the ingredient for one of the drinks? Lily couldn't find it. The map lay out of reach. Uh. Uh. What? Oh. oh, just a little girl. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Aren't you worried that the loonies will catch you? Uh-uh. Well, you should be, so hurry. Get back to bed. Or did you want to make a complaint? Uh-huh. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this had to happen someday. And who do you want to make a complaint about, if I may ask? Uh-huh. You don't mean yourself, do you? Uh-huh. Ha <laughs> ha! Police! What terrible things could a little girl like you have done? Children your age can't even be charged with a crime. The only reason to lock up a young kid like you would be to sober you up. But I'm sure a girl who looks as well-behaved as you already knows to stay away from alcohol, right? Uh-huh. You see? Of course, if you insist, you can take a voluntary alcohol test anyway. The machine is over there, against the wall. But I can't arrest you if you haven't gone and drunk nothing.
The wine gums looked tasty. Lily took that as a sign that she wasn't allowed any. girl. What do you have there? Are those earplugs? Fabulous! Thank you! It's exactly what I need right now. Hmm. No, these are too big. So, hello? Can anyone hear me? Ah, much better. Yes! Loud and clear. Who wants to be first? Max Mixo? I could have guessed that. Could you possibly do me another favor? Uh-huh. It's about Max Mixo, the previous bartender at the village bar. He's worried about his legacy. The volcano berserker. He'd always hoped that this drink would make him immortal someday. We both know that his plan failed, but now he literally took the recipe to his grave. And he so wanted to leave it to posterity. It's very simple. A cocktail only has three ingredients. Wine gum, artemisia, and... A chili pepper. Did you get that? Uh-huh. Thank you, Lily. Maybe the great Max Mixo can finally find peace. And me, too. If you want to order anything, just point it out to me on the menu. A volcano berserker? Have you got all the ingredients? Uh-uh. No? Then I can't help you, sweetie. To use the machine, you needed small change and a comfortable relationship with Salmonella. <laughs> to use the machine and a comfortable There was a sign on the f don't feed Saber in the event Saber they can be free therefore the fo Lily would have gladly but she had no idea. Garrett did what he was best at listening.
Could this be the ingredient for one of the drinks? Lily couldn't find... Wait, I have a few seances to finish here. Who wants to be first? Max Mixo? I could have guessed that. You again? Do you want to make another complaint? Uh-uh. Oh, thank goodness. I would have really hated it if I'd had to go outside. Ever since Dr. Marcel stopped running the asylum properly, this whole area has been overrun with escaped loonies. It's best to just stay at home and hide behind a desk. That's the most sensible thing to do. Oh, yes. That must be the police car. The bar suggested that this was a lion cave. <laughs> if you want to... Flounder to go. How convenient. <laughs> to use the machine and a co- To use the machine and a co- <laughs> If you want to order anything, just point it out to me on the menu. Coming right up. Oh, by the way, that's a non-alcoholic cocktail, but don't worry, there's enough other illegal substances in it. If you want to order anything, just point it out to me on the menu. Neon drink to make your liver glow in the dark. If the saber-toothed boars had to mark their territory, then they should do it properly. If you want to order anything, just point it out to me on the menu. A volcano berserker coming right up. But be careful, that drink packs a punch. And I'm not talking about punchy colada if you catch my drift. But Lily... What's that for? That's not good for little children. You must not touch alcohol. And milk is much better for your teeth anyway. <laughs> Look at my funny choppers. They're cute, aren't they? Uh-huh. But Lily, what's that for? That's not good for little children. You must not touch alcohol. And milk is much better for your teeth anyway. <laughs> Look at my funny choppers. 
They're cute, aren't they? Uh-huh. A ball of wool. Can I see it again? Mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> are only for players. I'm a dog. Um... Hey, look. The ugly girl wants to play, too. Then she has to place her bet. She can't play without a bet. Meow. Lily liked the cold. It reminded her of her bed. What's that supposed to be? That's not your bet, is it? We're playing for real money here. So either put some dough on the table, or take a walk. I like walks. The door was firmly locked. Too bad. Step right up. Step right up and admire the latest accomplishments in modern medicine. Anti-wrinkle cream with skin-firming materials from outer space. Natural food supplements with amusing motifs from the animal world. Our brand new product, the pill for in-between. For all those who didn't have time before and don't want to wait till afterwards. Step right up, marvel at the sights and take a free sample of Alcofix. The exclusive miracle treatment with an alcohol base. It tastes 100 proof and works 100 proof. Hello, little lady. Are you interested in a sample bottle of Alcofix, the miracle brandy? Uh-huh. Hmm. You actually look pretty healthy to me. And I'm afraid even Alcofix won't fix that problem with your ears. Do you have any bad pains? Incurable genetic diseases? Tinnitus? Hepatitis? Cervical cancer? Uh-uh. Hmm. Yeah. I'm so sorry for you, but I can't give you a sample of Alcofix like you are now. Come back when you're sick. Yeah, yeah. Right the back at you. Tell me, uh, you weren't planning on decaying in the next couple of days, were you? Uh-uh. Uh, oh, well. No problem, huh? I should be cutting down on carcasses anyway. My dietician is uh, pulling his hair out. More fresh fruit, he says. I have a salad now, and I know all that. But what can I do, huh? I just love that rotten stuff. I just have to smell the rotting flesh. And I start circling. And honestly, out here in the desert, huh? It's hard to maintain a healthy diet. You try uh, and leave something for later, and the bacteria just move right in. You could uh, get the most horrible diseases, huh? Festering boils, uh, oozing eczema. Oh, man. All oh, this talk of food has made me hungry. Please, uh, leave me alone with my growling belly. Howdy, stranger. What's a nice little girl like you doing in a rough place like this? Wait. You're not here for the gold rush too, are you? Well, then you might as well just pack up your bags again. The only gold around here is in my mine. And I'm the only one who knows the way there. Plus, you can't get in there right now anyway. Oh. I knew it! You're after my gold! Well, you can just forget it. My gold mine is good and hidden. And even if you found it, you wouldn't get in. The entrance is guarded by a Wendigo. 
Lily wasn't interested in the mime, but this Wendigo made her curious. Could he be another manifestation of her behavioral blocks? Perhaps it would be worthwhile to look for the mine after all. Well, forget it. The way to my mind is top secret. Even I have trouble remembering it. Oh, I should actually ride over there again. We... You don't know what a Wendigo is, do you? Uh-uh. Well, I don't know much myself. It's some kind of Indian demon that's stopping me from getting into my mind. If you want to know more, you need to ask the shaman. He's knocking around here somewhere. Sure. The shaman? No idea. I never met him personally. Sometimes I see his smoke signals on the horizon. That's it. But if anyone can tell you about Wendigos, it's him. Is that you, little girl? What are you doing in limbo? Don't tell me you're... Eee! Uh-uh. In this case, I unfortunately have to ask you to get off the line. I have a few seances to finish here. Ooh. Huh? Is that you, little girl? What are you doing in limbo? Don't tell me you're... What's that? Is that what meat I can smell? Uh-uh. Then the brush of your teeth, huh? The door was firmly locked. Too bad. There was a lot of room for provisions in the saddlebags, so the cash cow wasn't forced to stop at every little milestone. Lily was certain that that wouldn't make for good provisions. Hmm. Some provisions for the road wouldn't be bad, but mayonnaise goes bad quickly in the sun. I won't be able to use it. Lily looked around. Why was there never anyone around to stop you from doing something when you needed it the most? <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> Step right up! Step right up and admire the latest accomplishments in modern medicine. Anti-wrinkle cream with skin-firming materials from outer space. Natural food supplements with amusing motifs from the animal world. Our brand new product, the pill for in-between. For all those who didn't have time before and don't want to wait till afterwards. Step right up, marvel at the sights and take a free sample of Alcofix. The exclusive miracle treatment with an alcohol base. It tastes 100 proof and works 100 proof. Oh, it's you again. No, don't bother coming any closer. Not unless you've picked up a contagious disease since I last saw you. Uh-huh. Do you have any bad pains? Incurable genetic diseases? Tinnitus? Hepatitis? Cervical cancer? Why? 
Hello! What do we have here? <laughs> You've really caught something very special there. Congratulations! This definitely qualifies you to test a sample of Alcofix, the miracle brandy. To be honest, you almost look overqualified. Your rash is so severe, I'm not sure even Alcofix can heal it. Bravo! You might as well just take the entire bottle. The color of the bottle reminded Lily of someone. Must not touch Alka. Huh? Had that bottle just talked? What's that for? I have a whole mine full of gold. Why, if I wanted, I could have a dozen of these carved out of ivory. Hey, leave Dolly alone. As long as you keep very still, you may admire her from a distance. But you'd better not disturb her while she's eating. broken his own rule. Apparently, it was okay to have a swig or two in certain situations. Whoa, what you doing? Oh no! What's the matter? Is something wrong with your drink? Uh -uh. <laughs> mm. What's the matter? It tastes great. That bubbling in your lungs is... Uh... <laughs> wugga, wugga, wugga! To use the machine, you needed small change and a comfortable. Lily's daily requirement of flounders was covered. What? 
What's this? You're as drunk as a skunk. Come on, off to the drunk tank with you. Let this be a lesson to you. Drinking at your age. Tisk, tisk, tisk. And finally, there it was, the map. Lily was excited. A hamster. So that was the mystery behind the escaping map. Maybe Lily had finally found a new friend. But maybe everything was as before. And finally, there it was, the map. Edna had hidden in this cave by Moore Lake. But wait a second, Lily already knew that. The map was in reality pretty useless, especially when Lily thought about everything she had done to get her hands on it. The getaway car was ready. Lily was on her own once again. The pizza looked much better from there. Just like everything else you couldn't have. Pizza, friends, parents. The bike tires were properly pumped, just like their owner. Oh, uh, what's the matter? You've already had enough of the filtered air? You should have thought of that before reaching for the bottle. <sighs> oh, come on. Don't be so sad. That's exactly the kind of behavior that once made me release Edmund the Slasher. You can't even imagine how much trouble I got into for that. It took weeks until little Melanie's parents spoke to me again. <sighs> oh, I'm just too soft-hearted. I'll let you go, but you have to promise me never to get into trouble again. Can you do that? You must not lie. You must not lie. Woo! The ball of wool! Can I see it again? Uh-huh. Woogie. 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 <laughs> Hi, Lily. Don't tell me you want to get out. Uh-huh. I thought so. But you'd hardly be sitting in there if you knew how to behave properly, right? Um... Be quiet. You weren't about to contradict me, were you? Uh-huh. Well, I can't object to that. Contradictions are great. Sometimes I start contradicting at breakfast. For example, three slices of toast. Yum! Delicious toast! Um, nom, 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 nom. Uh, but... But that would be a lie. And we both know... You must not lie! Lies are evil! Uh-uh. What? Of course lying is evil. Wait, I'll show you on this blackboard. Take a close look at this board. It shows some of the basic principles of our legal system. For example, that lying is evil. Um... What do you mean? No. Of course lying is evil. It can easily be deduced from the four top principles. God is good and true. But the devil is evil and has great wisdom. God is truth because he is full of wisdom too. But the devil lies with all of his evil. That's why lies are always evil. 
You can construct the chain of logic leading to this conclusion yourself. It only takes three small steps to get the result. You can try it yourself! Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <sighs> yes, that's logical. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <sighs> yes, that's logical. All right. Lies are what? Lies are good? But, but that can't be true. Uh, everything seems to fit. But, but that's... <sighs> Apparently, Justicia was wrong. It seemed that lies weren't so bad after all. Lily had removed another block. Oh, come on. Don't be so sad. I'll let you go. But you have to promise me never to get into trouble again. Can you do that? You must not lie. <sighs> oh, I'll let you go. But you have to pro- Can you do that? Uh-huh. So you promise? No more trouble, okay? Uh-huh. And you're not fibbing? Uh-uh. Okay, then. I guess I'll just have to believe you, then. Welcome to freedom. Let this be a lesson to you. Uh-huh. As long as it's still dark outside, you should really stay indoors. It's much too dangerous out there at night. Huh? It's best to just stay at home. But Lily, where are you going? You heard that it's dangerous out there. You must not hang around dangerous places. There are so many other nice places for children to visit. At a spelling bee, for example. Or a Rolf Harris concert. Mm. Lucky. 